So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up email at your domain using Microsoft Office 365. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and I'm here to help you find the best and easiest ways of setting up your business or organization online. Now, this video shows just one way of setting up email at your domain. I've got several other videos that show you a couple of different ways, and I've got reviews on those too. And you can find those videos in the description below or by pushing the little I icon at the top of the screen. This video also assumes that you already have hosting for your domain. And if you don't, I've got a video that will show you how to set up the hosting that we're going to talk about in this video. Um, you can either find it in the description below, or again, um, there's a new eye icon at the top of the screen that will take you to a video that will show you how to set up hosting for your domain. So now let's go ahead and get started and see what this service is all about. Microsoft Office 365 offers a lot of advantages um, if you're a business and you need other services like access to Microsoft Office programs like Word or Excel. And they've got two plans that offer email. There's the $5 plan here that offers email, and then there's also the $12.50 plan that offers email. Um, to get started, I'm going to use this $12.50 a, a month user plan because they've got a free trial with it to see if it works um, with my business. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to click on free trial. And then we're going to go ahead and just enter in your information here. I'm just going to fast forward uh, through all this information because I'm sure you can figure out how to set this all up. Uh, the one thing you do need to know is that later on they're going to ask you uh, for a phone number uh, where they can text you a code so that they can make sure that you actually are a person. Okay, and then just click on you're ready to go. And then to get started, we need to click on those boxes right up here at the top and then click on our admin area. And that's where we're going to make all the changes and adjustments that we need to get this set up. And let's click over here and we're going to click on settings and then domains. And then we're going to add our domain that we've created. So for this, I'm going to use the domain that I created when I showed you how to use the SiteGround web hosting. Obviously, you'd want to use your own domain name. And then click next. Okay, so now we just need to enter in um, this DNS record um, on our host. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you're using SiteGround, just go over to SiteGround, um, log into your account, and then click on My Accounts. And then click on Go to cPanel. Click Proceed. And then let's click on the Advanced DNS Zone Editor. Okay, for the name, it says at, but actually what you want to do is just type in your domain name there and then for the TTL we're going to copy the information from over here so it's 3600 and then we change the type to text and then just paste in the information from over here so just copy this and then just paste this in here and click add record and then you can see that your record has been added um, because you can see this txt record here at the bottom with um, the Microsoft information that we copied over. So we'll go back over here and we'll click on verify. This can take a few minutes. Um, sometimes it's pretty fast. Sometimes it can take... Oh, there we go. That was pretty fast. Okay, so for this next step, we want to click I'll manage my own DNS records. And that's because we don't want Microsoft managing everything. We just want them to manage our email. So click on this and then click next. And then we want to change this MX record here. So we're going to go ahead and copy this uh, MX record here. And we're going to go back to our cPanel. Go back to the cPanel home. Okay, and then go back to your cPanel home. Then scroll down here to where it says Advanced MX Editor. And scroll down here where it says Add a New Record. We'll leave the priority zero. Then we'll paste in that information that we got. And we'll click Add New Record. Okay, and so now the email should be going to our Microsoft account. So let's go back there, and then we'll click on Verify. And now you can see the MX record has disappeared here, and the other records for the other services that um, Microsoft offers are still there. So that's good. So now we'll um, click on Exit, and then we'll click Close, and then we'll click Home here, and then we'll go to the next step. And we'll add a few users. 
and then we'll click on next. And if you want to migrate your mail messages, you can use this, but there's also also another way um, to do this later. So let's just click on don't migrate email messages for now, and we'll click next. And then we'll do exit and continue later. And then to get your user to actually be able to use uh, their email that you just set up, um, you want to go over to edit a user, then search for a username of somebody that you did. So I'm going to do Tim2. And then if you click on this reset password button here, um, you can do an auto-generated password, and then you can email that person with their auto-generated password. And then click reset. And now that's going to send them an email um, with a password that they can use. Um, and also it's got a password right here that you can use um, to log into their account. And then you can test to see if your email is working. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And then let's log out. And then let's sign in as that other user. And enter in that password that they gave us and click sign in. Okay, and then once you're signed in here to check that the mail is working, just click on mail over here. And then set in your preferences here. And then we can send them an email from um, a mail email address just to make sure that it's working. So I'm doing that right now. Okay, and then I'm going to push send on the email. And there we go. So we can see that email is working from our domain because we received uh, this email. And that's how you use uh, Microsoft Three, Office 365 to set up email at your domain. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. If you've got a question or need some help, go ahead and leave a comment below or visit me at realwebsitehints.com. Thanks for watching.